Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the Boolean data type and the Boolean expression and if statement. So let's open our NetBeans and see. So of course you know how to, you know, declare the variable. So uh, the variable uh, Boolean, data type Boolean, let's say user equal. So the, the Boolean, it's, the, it's either true or false okay so uh, let's say user true and let's print out and actually you know we use if statement mostly with the boolean because it's like either you know you're gonna compare between like you know whatever like two values and then you either the result is a come true or false so so that's why we're gonna use if statement with that so let's say if user equal but he here you know that uh, the operators actually when we like the um, you know when you compare between like two things so you use here equal equal okay so it's not equal you know so the difference between just like a one equal sign and over here so this is to compare okay and this is just to assign something so let's user it's equal true so the user it's either to whatever like integer integer num equal five so you assign the value five to the number but here to compare it's like a comparison uh, so the user equal equal if the user equal equal true let's print out statement system dot, 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 event. that's correct and else we will print something different let's say that's incorrect okay and then let's run it and see so you see to print out that's correct because it's true but let's change here this variable to false and let's run it so as you see now to print that's incorrect the other statement over here so the boolean it's either true and false and this is like a very simple example about how we use it uh, so now let's talk about the boolean expression so let's delete those or you know we can comment it like that and let's say we have integer x equal 5 and we have another variable called y equal 6 okay and we want to print out system the uh, print let's say x you know we use the you know the greater than operators to just compare between those and see either the expressions will be true or false so let's say x greater than six uh, i mean uh, greater than y okay and let's run this and see what's gonna happen you see it gives us false because of course five it's not greater than six five it's you know it's less than six so that's why it falls so let's you know switch it here y print y greater than x and then run it as you see here it's true so if we back to the the boolean data type um let's comment this and open here the boolean data type we've used f and if you can see here the f statement it's like we we need to specify like either the condition is true or false and between those we we're gonna like execute um like a block of code when this condition is true so um let's you know give you like another example uh instead of like boolean let's use uh read from the keyboard let's let the user enter number and let's use f statement and see how we're going to use it to so enter num okay 
and of course you know how to read from the keyboard we already have the object here input okay and well dot add the print line then please enter number and we would read this number as the variable the equal we will call the object input dot next if you guys remember how we read the integer next int and then let's use the f statement over here let's say f this num okay this variable equal equal let's say five system dot out dot print line uh, good or you know what excellent if we have more than you know one condition so we can use else if else if this num you know you can you can even like use greater greater than or equal to five and here if we're greater than let's say greater than five we print excellent if this number is equal to five uh, equal equal because i told you the different if you say num equal five so that means you assign this value of five to the variable number num but right here so we're gonna compare between this value the variable and this value the five okay so let's say if this is true we will print out good and else so that means it's if it's not greater than five or it's not equal than five whatever else we will print out bad okay and let's run this program and see so please enter number let's enter six as you see here it's print out, print out excellent let's change the number run the program again and change the number so let's enter four as you see it's print out bad so this is so he skipped this condition so he went first to this condition if num greater than five of course you know it wasn't so we just move down so this is the way even like you know the we execute the, the, the code executed okay so go you know line by line and check each condition so here first he checked if this number is greater than five of course not so he skipped this so he didn't go inside and you know print this so he went to the other condition the second condition else if the number equal five so of course it wasn't so he also he skipped this statement and then he went to all the way down to else and then he print bad let's say uh, we run the program again and we enter five okay and then you see it's good so also he went to the first statement five number greater than five of course not also I skipped this and went to this you know statement this condition and then there was this condition was true so he went inside and he print out you know it's print out the good um, was if actually you know we use the the, the the curly braces but this is if we want to print more than one statement if you just print out just one statement so you don't need to put you know the curly braces but let's see we want to print out two system two statement like that system dot print line hello and then excellent as you can see here we, we got error okay because we didn't use uh, uh, curly braces so if we put the curly braces over here and we close it after this condition you see the error gone so please this is really important if you're gonna only have one statement so you don't need to put the curly braces in each condition if it's more than one statement so you have to use the curly braces like that um, I hope you guys understand it please practice and see you next lecture thank you so much